Today I wanted to share a really very simple gouache painting that I recently did. I probably wouldn't even call it a painting so much as a sketch in paint. Like I said, it's very simple and basic. And honestly, the photo I used for reference was kind of boring. It's just a stock photo I found on Unsplash or somewhere like that. And when painting it, I didn't even really capture it very faithfully. So technically this is not a great painting. And yet, still, I am just so incredibly happy with it. I was thinking about why this might be, and I think it's because of the material I used. It's painted by hand. I think I sometimes forget just how much the process and the materials can influence something. I know that's a really obvious statement, but hey, I'm kind of forgetful. <laughs> I've been thinking about this a lot lately. About two years ago, I bought an iPad for the first time for the sole purpose of using Procreate. Yes, I do use it for other things as well, uh, but I really just wanted an iPad so I could do some digital art. And I already had um, a tablet for drawing with my computer, but that was difficult. And I thought drawing directly on the uh, screen would help. Now, I'm not saying I thought digital art is would be easy. Um, I never thought that that would be a magical way to create great art. In fact, after practicing just a little bit, I would say that for me, digital art is a lot more difficult than traditional or physical art. But for the majority of the last few years, whenever I did do art, I would use my iPad. Now, I am in no way putting that down or putting down digital art. I think it takes a lot of skill. A lot of artists can create amazing pieces uh, with a digital medium, presumably because they've practiced. Um, so again, I think it's awesome. This is not a criticism of that medium or artists who practice it or anything. It's far from it. But I think that because up until a couple months ago, I hadn't really touched any traditional mediums like paint. Um, I had forgotten how much of an influence the physical material can have on a piece. I've realized I really like using paint, even if I'm not uh, great at it. My skills have definitely declined uh, since I've been out of practice for so long. But honestly, years ago when I was painting more, I don't think I was as good as I thought I was at the time. Uh, and that's not me putting myself down. It's just that uh, hindsight's 2020, right? But like I said, I like using paint and pencils and physical materials. I still want to get better at digital mediums. I, I still want to make digital art. But when it comes to being in the actual process of creating the art, there is something about so-called traditional mediums and traditional art that I don't think can be replicated with a computer or a tablet. Between selecting and mixing colors, getting just enough paint on the brush, knowing when and how to dilute it, or getting the paint down on your canvas or paper, knowing how and when to blend, there are just so many little nuanced things that you have with physical art. And for me, as someone who is more or less trying to relearn how to do art, uh, I feel these things are really important. Also, if you screw up with paint or pencil, it usually takes a little more effort to fix something. I'm not saying, again, that digital art is just a breeze, um, but <laughs> I'm not kidding. There have been times when I was drawing in a sketchbook and messed up, and before even thinking about it, my reaction was to do the two-finger tap on the page that you do like in Procreate, um, since that will again, in Procreate, undo your last action. Um, but that won't erase your line. And um, it won't remove the last brush stroke you applied. You have to get in there and just figure it out. If you're painting with traditional medium, it's probably going to take quite an effort to undo something that you've done without harming the other parts of your painting that you're actually happy with. Another thing I appreciate about traditional art is that the original piece you make is the piece. The artist actually touched and manipulated the materials that created the original work and you can touch them too and have them hanging in your space. Again, it's not to say that digital art is bad, but if you want to physically display a piece of digital art, it's always going to be a reproduction or a print. Those are just uh, some thoughts I had and some things I wanted to share, but I'll quit rambling and we'll finish this painting.